The Chroma Color Warper is a tool to enable smooth and precise adjustments between specific color ranges within your image. It operates by using a chromaticity diagram where you apply strokes to define color shifts. The diagram displays the current color of your image overlaid in white. You can either use the traditional mesh-based color warper or the Chroma Color Warper on a node, but not both simultaneously. To begin using the Chroma Color Warper, first decide between the normal mode or the point-to-point -point mode. The normal mode is great for a natural transition across a range of colors. As you can tell in this example, it really excels at shifting the hue of this water. With the Chroma Color Warper open, we can start by selecting the starting color using the eyedropper in the viewer, then dragging to our new desired color. We can also click and drag directly within the diagram. If you ever need to come back to make additional adjustments, just remember the initial color is the blue dot and the target color is the orange dot. If you have multiple adjustments, just remember that the dot pairs are connected with the arrow. The orange outline shows the full range of affected colors. Just a little quick tip, if you have never used one of these diagrams, this center white circle represents white or desaturated colors. And as you work outwards, you're going to increase in saturation. Use point to point mode to isolate and change one specific color with another without affecting intermediate hues, such as changing this guy's shirt from blue to green. As you can see here, the power between point to point mode versus normal mode with the same selection. The selection process is the same. We can make our first selection using the eyedropper in the viewer or clicking directly directly in the diagram, then we drag to our target color. Again, you'll see a blue starting dot and an orange ending dot connect it with an arrow. As you can see with the orange outline, the affected area is much smaller in this mode. Saturation adjustments work exactly the same way. You have your white point in the middle, working out from there becomes more saturated. You can apply multiple normal and point-to-point -point strokes within the same node for more complex adjustments. If necessary, you also have a tool called Pinpoint that excludes specific colors from your adjustment. Let's add one in by clicking the Add Pinpoint button. Then you can either use the eyedropper in the viewer or click directly in the diagram. This pins a color, preventing it from being affected by nearby strokes. So we've covered all of these buttons. We also have Select Existing Strokes, this just allows us to move the points around without accidentally adding more. And then we have a delete strokes button as well. Below this, we have stroke refinement controls. Chroma range allows us to adjust how many adjacent colors are included in the selection. Lower values are more specific where higher values are a broader selection. Exposure brightens or darkens the target color. Positive values brighten, negative values darken. Tonal range, low, high, and pivot. These sliders control the luminance range affected by the stroke. Low affects darker ranges, high affects brighter ranges, and pivot sets the midpoint. These are global adjustments affecting all strokes on the node. This toggle lets you switch the existing selected stroke between normal and point-to-point -point modes. The key difference from the traditional color warper is the method. The chroma color warper uses strokes on a perceptionally uniform chromaticity diagram rather than adjusting points on a grid mesh. Its operation is exposure independent. Once a chroma color warper is set, subsequent changes in the upstream luminance corrections generally won't break the color qualification. Making this tool robust for complex color grading workflows, this focus on chromaticity allows for targeted hue and saturation shifts independent of brightness levels. Nice. Well, that's the DaVinci Resolve Colored Chroma Warper in three minutes. Be sure to hit that like button if you like short videos like this one.